Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are here today on Crusader Kings 3. With the recent release of the Tours and Tournaments DLC slash Relay Expansion Pack, I feel that it's really no better time to kind of jump back in and play the game and experience all the new changes, or if you've never played the game, to pick it up. Of course, the Tours and Tournaments adds Grand Tournaments, Grand Weddings, and Grand Tours, but the free patch that goes along with it adds many new things, such as being able to see your character as it moves around the map, you'll actually now actually leave and not just sit in your capital. And while you're gone, you'll have a regent who will uh, basically take over things for you. And depending on their uh, uh, traits and abilities and how much they like you, etc., um, you might have trouble when you get back if you're gone for a long time. Let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to go ahead and start in 1066, and we're going to start with our good old friend Petty King Murkad Ufbrien, the Duke of Munster, up here. It is considered a noob or tutorial island, since you're somewhat isolated. It is an easy start. And we are in Iron Man mode, which means that you'll get a save whenever you make your uh, first character, and then every time you exit, you just can't create your own little individual saves. Okay, when we first load in, we have a lot of things to do. Let's go ahead and take a look at our character. We got Forder, which is not too bad. Travel speed's good, I guess. Skill Tactician. We have 17 Marshall, only 4 Prowess. We are a Marshall character. Now let's take a look at our lifestyle. Okay, so we got Overseer, which is pretty good. Um, as we conquer over things, we'll basically get more uh, uh, control. Control is... The lower the control, the less levies and taxes you get by a lot. So this will basically just give us passive control. And then this left side over here is more for defense. When I start, I like to rather get a uh, strategist or overseer. Galliant is good, but this left side of the tree really doesn't do anything for me. And I think for our focus, we're going to go ahead and go authority focus for more control. All right, let's take a look at our council. All around pretty good. We have decent learning with our priest. So let's go ahead and start swaying him because he does not endorse us. We have our Earl Ragnard II Stigardson of Ormond. He is Normand, as you can see, and he doesn't like us. We're different, very different than them. So no matter what, I actually kind of want him gone eventually. Now, our steward is not very good. And I can't do much about it. Our spy master. Okay. Same. And then our marshal is pretty good. We are not married. Our heir is not married. Now, the bad thing is, yes, we can technically have... Four wives, right? Uh, since we are the ruler. However, if our primary spouse is not insular or Irish, does not share that polygamy trait with us. It's the Irish now. It used to be insular, but now it is part of the Irish um, culture. Since we do not share that, they will get negative um, benefits to us. So... Um, if possible, I would like somebody with good Irish. Um, uh, age, sexual, gender, culture. Irish. Nah, she's okay, not too good. Look for somebody, hopefully, with pretty high stewardship. Here we go. She's all right. They're all commoners. Having a good trait would be nice. But I don't know if we're going to really get too many people. Let's see. So we have Aldonza up here, and she has some issues because we are not the same culture, we are not the same religion, and she's zealous, so I'll never be able to convert her. 
but she has a really good trait of being intelligent. Um, let's take a look at traits. So I'm not really too worried about having um, a whole bunch of children. So just having one spouse would probably be good. Here's a good one. She's Amazonian Herculean. That's really good, actually. She is brave, calm, and gluttonous. That is sinful to us, but but her stewardship is zero. So maybe somebody else in my dynasty. Let's uh, let's actually go ahead and pin her. And uh, I mean, I plan on ruling for probably another thirty years or so. I mean, I guess should be good. We're we're gonna have more children. So, okay, we'll marry her. I don't think I'm going to marry other spouses. I don't know. We'll see. My heir needs to be married as well. So having somebody decent for him as well would be quite nice. Gaelic. That's good because um, our acceptance, Gaelic and Goidic, uh, they're, you can see it's on there. It's all the same, same language and stuff. It's a little different, but... Um, she's pretty good. He's 19, she'll be 20. She's sadistic, diligent, and arrogant. So, my son is not very good. Let's see here. Comely. Don't really have too much issue. Oh uh, yeah, she's zealous. I don't really have too much issue having a bunch of children. Let's go ahead and see where this principality is down that way. I bet we can find... She's Hale. That's pretty good. But her stats are kind of trash. We have a Norwegian here. She has one... So, having your spouse to have like decent stats all the way across is very important because... Just like with anything else, if they have poor stats in that, they can do, like, due to your spouse's poor diplomacy, you, you know, lengthen a truce or something like that. I don't know. But you get what I mean. So she's pretty good, pretty all around. Comely as well. And she's Gaelic, so that's good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and marry him. Not really too in this very beginning. I'm not even a king yet. I'm more worried about getting some good children versus getting, um, you know, alliances and stuff. We can get alliances other ways. Let's see what else we have up here. Now, okay, so Dublin and Lannister here. So he is 71. He's my brother-in-law. And this is my nephew, which is his son, my brother-in-law's son, is 41. So he's going to die like any time soon. And it's going to go towards him. He'll get both of these. So that will extend his power pretty good. Um, let me see here. He has the claim on that one. So you kind of have the option of like speed running, trying to get this earldom right here. And just seeing if you can get it before he dies. Um, but it's kind of important. Normally, I like to shoot for Athlon and then um, uh, Breifin, which will kind of corner him into being here because Petty King Aid, he will branch out and basically get all of this if you're not careful. So I like to speedrun Athlon and Breifin, and then um, usually he will just vassalize Breifin. And then, um, as you can see, it's part of his de jour right there. Hierarchy, so we'll make an alliance with him so we can fight him. And then later on when we're king, we'll just vassalize him and move our capital to Dublin. Which is usually how I feel a pretty good way to go through this. So he's my cousin. Unfortunately, we can't vassalize him even with low rate, low things, so. We will go back to our council. And we have a decent bishop, which is good. And we're going to tell him at 16 months... I remember one time I had a bishop that had like 27. 
learning it was a little crazy. All right, we're going to do that. And we're going to go here. We're going to negotiate alliance with our nephew. Please join us. We can station our men at arms here. You see, we don't have a whole bunch, but we will create, and we're going to create a bowman. These are just really good all around, but they're very good in Ireland because it's hills and forest. And there's quite a bit of hills and forest um, all around. There's a lot of plains as well, but they also counter, um, I think it's footmen or light horsemen. Yes, they counter uh, uh, light horsemen, I want to say. So they will, um, a lot of people have those. So you'll see when we get into fights. So we're going to actually bring them up. Desmond over here. Um, we can always click on them to see. They're similar to us. We need to bring up our troops a bit. Now let's... An accolade. Do we have somebody who's decent? We have... Male. We have our nephew. Here. Which we also could find a spouse for. And the more inheritable traits we kind of get in the beginning. Oh, this is pretty good. Look at that. Calmly and quick. He's 19, she's 18. That will work. Now, I don't I don't really mind him being a knight because honestly, I don't I don't find that he's very good. I'm going to force you because if you die, you just solve me a lot of problems. And my cousin, he's 57, so he's a little older. He still can have children, though. One playthrough, I had children all the way up to, like... I think I was, like, 60-something, and my wife was, like, 45, 46, and we had a child. My nephew and steward. So, I already found him one. Half-brother... How old? 37. Let's see here. He has very bad martial. Pretty good prowess. So, if I can get you... I'm 37. Do hail. Just kind of marrying off a lot of my relatives so they can... That one, so that what they can uh, increase our dynasty children. You know, more more kids to marry off, especially girls, because here in the beginning it's very it's very rough to have a bunch of girls. All right, now let's look at our acclaimed knight. So he's 19, which is not too bad. Besieger, which is siege weapon. Regiments. Max size. Okay. Which is alright, but not too good. We have Valiant, which is... Just straight up army damage. Alright, we'll take that. Tactician. Which is Marshal. Okay, that one's good. So we'll actually go ahead. The truest son of Munster. Very nice. All right, so we'll have him, and you can see they just give straight bonuses to your army. Now we can station a whole um, our archers right there, and this is I want to say wetlands. We'll go ahead and station our light footmen there. Their strength is similar, so we could just straight up vassalize them without even having to um, do anything. And then later on, we could honestly just revoke their title because I would like if. Well, maybe not, because if we're going to keep if we're going to give this territory away, we don't want our sons getting too, too strong to have all these territories because they're going to get like the petty king title and the things underneath it. But we'll get to that later. So, you know, what? I think we'll just go ahead and just straight vassalize him. 
So they would get low feudal obligations. Okay. And then we're going to do find secrets and see if we can just find straight find a secret on him. We haven't even unpaused yet. We're not employing a court physician. Well, our bishop is 53. That's kind of bad. Just because they don't have the physician thing doesn't mean that they're not good. But I would like to hopefully have somebody who's a little younger. So let's look over here at decisions. And we're going to do for physician. Okay. So basically we just have a couple of months. Excellent. So they're going to join in, join in. Okay. My wife does not support me. Everybody's getting married. We have formed um, an alliance. And now we have Desmond as well. So now we have our spouse. Court physician. Let's take a look. So, he's decent. Native appeaser. Diligent, honest, and gregarious. So, she's not too bad as well. Uh-oh. We're getting a lot of stuff pop up. So, let's do the wedding celebration first. So, basically, we have the option of gaining gold or gaining prestige. I would rather have the gold in the beginning because we're going to need it. Let's pause. Can I not really find anybody to marry her, I guess? Should be more people. All right, well, we'll just pin her for now and we'll come back to that. So he's 50 gold. She's 15. He's not bad. What is he? He's insular and Irish, whereas she's Catholic and Norwegian, so... Um... It's only 12, though. I feel like we could do better. Can I... Arrange a marriage? Let's see. Oh, there we go. That might have been why. Between them two? Okay. Well, that's one way to get him to stay. And then, what about you? She's not bad with her traits. She's 17. We have our half-brother here. Um, he's lisping. Let's see if we can maybe do something else. There we go. So they'll both join now to our court without having to actually pay them because we could just marry them. Um, My wife would be good. She's 13, but you know, we'll just we'll do her. That's fine. I do need her to like me as soon as possible. Uh, you have subpar skills all the way across. Your best is Marshall, which is only a 10. How about your son? Yeah, he's kind of bad as well. He's already chased. All right. Well, it's your house. So he can get married. This is to the alliance over here. I know he's the one with the lisp. So. That's way down there. Okay. We'll go ahead and marry that one. Let's see. Do we have anybody stewardship? We do. A courtier. Even though he is part of our... Well, oh, that's that guy we... He's honest. Still... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Our bishop supports us a little bit more. Oops. We should be building up our archers, which is good. 25 so far. 
We're losing 1.4 gold. We have another one. Oh, now we're not. Probably because we changed off support. So let's see here. Uh, let's work on domestic affairs. We're going to collect taxes because I'm not too worried about development because I plan on moving my capital. We're still looking for secrets down there. And we want to uh, increase our levy size. And then we will switch to train commanders. Well, we'll probably go to that. Okay. And we still should be trying to sway. The Grand Duelist. My chancellor has arrived at court with a bandage and hunger for vengeance. He tells me that my son and heir has been running rampage. Your boy fancies him a duelist, and he turned up at my doorstep, challenged me. No choice but accept. Long line of victims. Really? Okay. I will... Probably gonna lose. Um... I can get Inspiring Blade Master for my son. I don't really care about making him happy. 50 gold. We can... I guess we could lose the gold. But he's going to keep challenging people in my area to the duel. Yeah, I don't... Let's take a look. Aspiring Blade Master. Prowess, prowess. I mean, he'll gain a bunch of prowess, but... Kind of worried about him. It's a hard, hard choice. I don't want him to... You see, he already wounded him. Alright, we'll get him an instructor. That directly contributes to our military force, because now he is a knight, and he has pretty good prowess. So. Grand turn, keeps popping up. Oh, there we go. So her stewardship skill led to 50 gold, so we just kind of get that money back. She's still within our... She is. She's 40. Um, he's a courier. I don't really have... Eh. She's here, so we can unpin... Unpin. I'll uh, we'll probably just unpin her too as well. So I don't think she's going to come back. Okay. We'll just go ahead and hold off on that. Yeah, if you don't have a... A good bishop, it might even be worth just like... Starting over. Because... It makes, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of clean fabrication. Um, okay, my queen has gained the pregnant. If I get a better son, I might try to make him a monk, honestly. Um, oh, he's married. Yeah, it ain't going to work. Child of my dynasty. My son has had a son. So, we have a, our daughter-in-law, I'm sorry. Uh, let's look at my daughter-in-law. Oh, my daughter-in-law is giving birth to a son. I thought so. Uh, we will name him, well. Can look. All right, there we go. That sounds good. And as soon as we get a little more with him we will um switch to swaying her because she is my physician i kind of want her to like me 
we have plenty of gold to get that. Okay, search for a position is available again. Might get lucky. I know we already have a position. Um, she's insular and Irish. Decent on those. And she is also insular. Nope. Yeah, nope. Don't want that. That's a good way to die. She is 44. I don't think I have anybody really good who's... I mean, she married the bishop. Nope. Why not? She's married? I didn't say she is. Yeah, I don't want this one. That's that's a little bit high intrigue. Well, she could be my... What's my spy master? Fort 12? Hmm. She's stubborn, gener generous, and vengeful. Let's see here. She's 20. She can marry my nephew. How old is he? 23. That'll work. And then I probably can I can make her my spy master. Uh oh. But instead. Okay. The son was born still. It's a bummer. Okay. They have gotten married. Wow. 20. She is lustful, quick. Is she married? She is. Okay, I married her too. Um, lustful, quick, cynical. That is very high. Women can serve as a spy master. They can't serve as anything else due to uh, tradition for Irish. But she does not like me. Is she? She's Catholic and Castilian. Yeah, no thank you. She's insular and Irish. I'll take the 14. I don't need to get stabbed in the back. Okay, we lose 72. We gain a press claim. Athlon, vastly inferior. So let's go ahead and move our minute arms up here. Now I want him to start on Brefin up here. I would like Mayo his capital, which would be better. But um, I need to get... Well, he just vassalized Brefin, it looks like, literally just now. Yeah, so... But since it's not, like, directly there, you can see it's going to be three years. Oh, they're all going to be three years. Huh. Maybe I could take Mayo. If it's the same, this should be a pretty quick fight. So if it is, we will, um, we'll just, uh, cancel it and redo it. This is also to keep Dublin from expanding very quickly. We'll spin that. Raise all. Go ahead. We outnumber them. And you can see we are countering their light footmen by bowmen. Alright, the duelist returns. My son has returned to his adventures with a stronger man while he has lost a few duels and angered some of my vassals. He's also had his fair share of victories and gained valuable experience. Brian could have been... Now my BFPs, Earl Murdoch Brian, could have been gentler with him. You are going to be screwed when you inherit, bud. You become his rival. Okay, the spy master. Can we ransom him? Pretend. You can take him. We maimed one of theirs.
we wounded. Oh no! My counselor died. That's kind of bad because he was decent, but my cousin's in now. So that means Ormond is now in the hands of this one, which... Who is... The regent is my... So it's her sister's by master. Okay. Can... Oh, yeah. We get rid of him. It goes directly to us. All right, my bishop has gained a bit more. They are continuing to come back, but they're wearing us down. It's going to take longer on the siege. Okay, my daughter-in-law. So my son has now given birth to another son. Patrick. No good prisoners, but this is going to be over in a second. It's only 400 because of the low fort level. Alright. Did we capture anybody? We did. So. He is nothing really. He's a kid though. Can we ransom for 10? You. Uh, another child. He's going to be a good steward, probably. Um, you can join me. It's a whole lot of children. Let's see how much money the leech has. 29. Let's look at this one first. Now all the kids are good. I'll take the children. More, um... More, uh... Oop. Let's go ahead and... Well, let's let all those go through. That should be everybody. Yep. Now let's go ahead and enforce our demands. We take that. Disband our army. We will work on control. Oh, it already has. Unless it's changed, but here we are. 11 months. We'll do control down there in Ormond. Let's take a look now that we got more land and more vassals. Uh, stewardship. Nine. Yeah, he's pretty much the best we got. Military. It's the best we got. Spymaster. Yep. Alright, so we are fabricating that claim. So that is 17 months. Yeah, it's three years. So, because it's not directly next to it. That sucks. But as long as we can cut him off and keep him from expanding, we'll do alright. Now, if we can... Okay, my wife is pregnant again. Let's start swaying her. Now, if we can get rid of this kid, which it looks like we're going to, we'll probably have to pay a little bit of gold or something. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Murder, Bewinge, Messenger. Hmm. Okay. 
Secrecy minus 25%. Train to message a pigeon is ready to deliver a secret. Um, I don't think we need it, right? 95, 95. We're just going to go. It's too risky. Uh, we unlocked a new perk. So we will take Overseer, which allows the trade. We get Marshal plus 2, Stewardship plus 2, and Control Glow plus 50%. So we will passively gain control of anything we can. we have. Um, I am doing Control in Ormon, but... I expect him to die here very soon. Dangerous heights. Things. Yep. Children push from high places. A tragedy, truly. A fall from grace. We gain 20 stress. Oh, well. Well, we also gain the territory. So, yay. Desmond, don't go jumping out any windows. Where you at? Considering he hates my son. Hopefully he'll die by the time my son comes in. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, he hates my son. An unfortunate accident. My niece has given birth to a daughter. Excellent. Let's give a good um, name. There we go. How is he still alive? Every time. Every time I always ignore him, um, he doesn't die. All right. How's their strength? It's inferior. Probably because I have allies. I will call him in. I will spend the prestige and call him in for that. Okay, we have two. Oh, we can station him in arms again. Um, might be good to station our mangonels. And I think we have one more. Our light horseman. Yep. Bondi? What is Bondi? Bowman. Bondi. Okay. Unraised. Wow. Oh, we inherited them from taking them over. Okay. Let's see. 16. Pursuit. They have decent pursuiting. Pretty expensive. But let's see. I, will, I do want to... Let's take all this pause real quick. I do want to go ahead and increase our bowman. She gained arch architectural expertise plus one stewardship. Very nice. That's why I married her. My son. Okay. Aldonza, my daughter, my wife has given birth to another son, which is good. We will name him Tomas. And we should be organizing our army. Part of commanding an army means making sure my soldiers have plenty of food, drink, and camp gear. To end this, I should have come up with a plan ensuring. Okay. Um, accustomed to foraging. Supply duration. Well provisioned supplies. We're not going to be fighting too long of battle, so supplies is not too bad of an idea. We'll just take the cheap one. Because we're, I mean, we're going to be on our own territory a lot if we need to. That's going to go through soon. I can't really waste the money. Excellent. Organized levy service. And... I, oh, he's 14 marshal now. Okay. All right, well. And you're a powerful vassal. So there you go, buddy. I mean, it's only one less, but... 72. Okay, let's pause. Do that. Press this. And, okay, before we do that, let's take a look. So we have... Ooh, 19 stewardship. 
So I would like to vassalize him. So, what are you? Okay, you're pretty low. Because if I can get enough... I'm almost to enough territory to where I can just become High King. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think seven. If we get seven right there, we can become High King of Ireland. And then we can just push for vassalization on some people. Because we'll be their quote-unquote rightful liege. And... Um, or we can just take their titles, because, you know, we'll be able to push for other stuff. So, I would like to keep him around. How old is he? Before, I guess. He's 39, so he should be here for a while. He's 45. He's pretty good, too. 17 Spy Master. So, okay. They did take Refin over here. Is inferior. They got Mangonels, Light Horsemen, Light Footmen, Six Knights, 500 Levies. Off of that, negative 1,034. No allies. Does Dublin have allies? They usually do. Other me. Okay. Sometimes you can get lucky and get a thing to the whole petty kingdom, which is quite nice. We'll declare a war. Let's raise all. And we have to march up to the barony. I think we should be all right. Uh oh. Okay. Secret documents lost. Earl Murdoch. Okay. Expose my murder secret. Which is a bummer. How do we do that? Really? Okay. Well, we'll take the hook. I know what he's probably going to want. And how did this acolyte lose rank? Did he... Did he die? He died. How did you die? Oh, I inherited him, I guess. Okay, we might have to abandon the siege and go down and... It is commanded by him... Okay. Don't run. They're defending in the hills. If we get lucky, we'll just capture them. Oh yeah, we smashed them hard. They're going to do a river crossing. Okay. Earl Murdoch, more than he is collected. Okay. His feudal taxes are up. So they're going to defending. Yeah. My niece in law is given birth. Okay. He wants a white piece. No. Okay, we captured the mayor. He is wounded. We'll hang on to him for now. My daughter-in-law has died under mysterious uh, mysterious circumstances. So yeah, she was definitely murdered. 
Do either of these children get those to, uh, no. Oh, I hate my son. I really do. Can I? You know what? I'm not going to marry you. See if we can have one of your sons. Okay. Oldham of Athlon has gotten smuggling ring. That is pretty low control. We want high control here because one, I control it, and two, it's going to be my area. So let's take a look. Um, okay, 30 gold for you. I'll go ahead and ransom you for now. Okay, your sister-in-law. Excellent. No, and he's lisping, so that's good. He didn't inherit that. There we go. Our dynasty is growing, that's for sure. Since this is their home territory, they always get the defending bonus. Yep. King William the Bastard is no longer... Um, Norman. He is now English. Oops. Okay. Are they going to come fight us again? Oh, you didn't like that, did you? <laughs> okay, strategic impasse. This mayor and Earl Murdoch. It's my right to decide our ultimate course of action. That's not bad. We'll do both. They defended a river crossing, but it's not going to matter. Prisoner. Surely, instead of subject of my own, a current very restricted, sure you can see the wisdom. Low taxes. Okay, he doesn't... He can't blackmail me no more. Earldom of Thromond. How does Thromond have low... Besides it? Okay. They don't even have enough to... Okay, there we go. She finally endorses us. Excellent. We got a new perk. We're going to take Belly Justin. So that's going to give us Casa's Belly cost minus 50%. Okay, we captured him. Unlanded. Let's take a look at our prisoners. Uh, the only one I can... Oh, he's a physician. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna... He's Catholic and Hungarian, actually, so... And you could do that. Um, no, we'll just. Oh, a hook? Yeah. All my guests. Yeah. All 
All right. I don't think there's really anything else we can do with the rest of these. Let's take a look. No, you're a decent knight. But you're deceitful, vengeful, just misguided warrior, aggressive attacker. Um, can recruit you. And you are a kid. So we'll go ahead and just recruit you as well. You are a child. I'll have time to grow up. All right. Get all those done. There we go. We are one over our limit, so we're going to switch back to manage domain. I'll put us back to five of five. Disband. Okay, so kind of pissed at my air. Um, honestly. So his child, his heir, is this guy. Which looks to be better than him so far. So. Okay, 72 gold. We'll do that and take that. So he is my knight. So if we forbid him from being a knight, he still won't do it. Because he's the heir. Wish I had a hook on him. Alright, he's gonna go... We really didn't lose any soldiers out of that. Yeah, we didn't. How long would this take? Four years? I mean, I could just revoke his title. Make everybody kind of hate me a bit. 16, 12... How are you still alive? I know as soon as I do it, it's going to go away. So we'll take Ulster. And I believe... Um... I believe we can... Yeah, we'll get a new heir. Um, yeah, we want more traits. Not that one. How old are you? 24? Calm, patient, diligent. She's intelligent. Dutch Catholic. Very good stewardship. All right. Okay, so we can go to war and probably should be able to finish that up before it's time. So let's go ahead and declare war. It's only 63 now that we have that cast of spelly. We'll raise all. Oh, that's over. I mean, let's see here. We can ransom him for 10 gold, be free bunny. We only have a couple months. Yeah, we'll just ransom him and keep going. We'll sack the city. Oh, no loot here. 
they were raided by the Vikings. We probably should have just did it. They don't even have an army anymore. That was a quick one. We are now over our domain limit. We have that. We have disabled buildings and low county control. Okay. So now that we moved all the way up north. We have Munster. We need how long do we have a truce for him, with him for. Four years. It's quite a while. How are you still alive? How old are you? 77, man. Alright. So let's just take a brief look here. So, see, so you need all three of these. So if I take one more, I can just form that duchy. And he will join in. And then once I form the duchy, uh, I should be, I get a hold two duchies, I think, to become king. So, oops, zoom on in, and I mean, he's good, spy master, but it's all right. I'd rather vassalize that guy. So, okay, we're already fabricating claim on him. Excellent. So the next one, it's going to be like 400 and something gold, I think, to get the kingdom. So basically, we would just finish that. We've already we've ran all the way across the map. We might want to try for Linus. <laughs> How is this dude still alive, man? He always dies like within like the first month of the game. So of course he would stay like that. So let's see here. All right, guys, going to go ahead and end part one here. This is more of a long play series as we we take all the steps and. We learn and we make mistakes along the way, but so far it's going decent. I'm not too happy with my son because he uh, wants to go around making enemies when succession is a pain in the butt, so he should want to make friends. But, you know, that's how it is. So, all right, thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. So I'll see you next time.